Hassan Ekabo, and welcome to this eighth edition of Inside Oyotunji. You know, for those of you who follow numerology, eight is the vibration of expansion. And being that we've been bringing you these pilgrimages for a little over a year now, we think it's time to expand. This edition of Insider Yotunji is packed full of events and entertainment, beautiful festivals, the King's Day Festival, which recently went by, the opening of school, which we're going to take a look at right now. Everybody is born with good character. How then do you continue to have good character? You have to have education. They said the training is not necessarily Western training. It's training in your own culture and your tradition. Imagine if we just decided with all of these children who are born here every year after year after year, as soon as they get big enough to go to school, we send them out to foreigners. Say, here, take our kids, educate them, tell them anything. Traditionally in September, around the 15th day usually, depending upon where it falls, we have the opening of school here in the Kingdom of Oyotunji. From the very beginning, our founder, uh, Alba Osergeman Adefumi, was insistent with all of the parents and elders of this community that we would teach our own children, and that we do. So this is a ceremony where the children and the teachers and the parents, everyone involved in the world of learning, come together and they share wisdoms and try to advise the students on how to be really equipped, how to have really good tools for mental and emotional and physical success in their school year. This year was no different. We opened with a number of great wisdoms from the elders to the students. The Yorubas call this Itumo Edeshekan. Itumo Edeshekan. This is the ability to have vision. The ability to, like we said, create and shape your environment. I'm not minimizing academic training. But if you don't have the correct point of view, you ain't gonna use it right anyway. First thing you're gonna think of is getting academic training so you can get a job. A good job. A good job. I want to be proud of you. Go out and get a job with your general motor. Go out and get a job with somebody else. First thing, somebody else. So they want them to be followers. So they are followers, training followers, to be followers. Net result, followers. <laughs> now, the old say, um, Whatever you do in all your endeavors in school, and the school is your life, remember, whatever you do, do it well. Thank you, Chef. Right there. Yes, yes. 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 At uh, McDonald's makes, oh God, $350 billion a day, and they pay their employees six or seven of those dollars an hour to make them wealthy. So what we're telling you is that if you work for yourself, then you can keep all of the money. And uh, <laughs> that way, you know, uh, you will be a little McDonald's. Mm -hmm. All your yes, I yes. just wake up to you. Our students here have school, we say, without the walls of classrooms because they learn every day and almost every experience here from their parents, teachers, elders, uh, guest teachers that come in a lot of times from other uh, resident artist programs. And so it's a powerful time each school year as we begin and the students uh, pay close attention and listen up, let tea. They listen to their elders as they give them insights and wisdom to carry with them all throughout the school year. Well, it was just a minute after the opening of school that we were just inside of all of our preparations for the Festival of Kings, our annual Odun Abba.
celebration of the office of Abba, the African king. And of course, we were all excited about it. And before we knew it, we had participants from all over. We had Fiche, Nigerian-born entertainment. We had the Empresses of Zion Collective who were coming for their retreat from Atlanta. We had our ancillary chiefs, priests, and other visiting dignitaries. And of course, we wanted to have the kingdom looking its special back. Here's a look at some of the wonderful things that took place as the festival got underway with the Abba's Breakfast. This breakfast was sponsored by the Ekbe Akin Kanju, the African Men's Society here at the Kingdom of Oyotinji. Executioners are the ones who deliver capital punishment. And so, the more we understand the Ekbe that we have involved ourselves in, then the more we can understand our direction and where we need to go as a unit. Welcome back to this eighth edition of Inside Oyotunji. Well, you know, every year during the Festival of Kings, the annual parade of the royal ancestors is one of the highlights of this Odun. This year was no exception. We had something like five Egungums paraded. It was beautiful. The dancing and the crowd, it was amazing. As you look, know that this is the royal lineage of the families of Aladehunu and Adefumi. And also, now the maternal family of the Aba, which would be the clan of Oyewole. We had a marvelous time, and it was enjoyed by all. But that was just the beginning. Saturday night saw an amazing entertainment. The beat went right on. We began with a powerful drumming ceremony by Omo Anya, our uh, drummers, part of our family now from uh, Milwaukee. They were here with us, and they got things off to a grand start. Everyone was put in the mood immediately. Also on that show, we had Ross Kofi, one of Atlanta's reggae performers. We don't need the cheese, I'm going. 